I was having a conversation the other day online with a fellow ham and uh, the topic of zero span operation of a uh, swept spectrum analyzer came up so he wasn't really sure what it was so hence we'll put this little video together so think about a conventional swept spectrum analyzer the net effect of essentially how it works even though it's not exactly how it's doing it or how it's accomplishing it is to take a resolution bandwidth filter you know, followed by a detector and sweep that across a given frequency span so we can essentially plot out the detected power in that filter across a given frequency range or a frequency span. Uh, that's normally how a spectrum analyzer works. Zero span is quite simply parking that uh, filter at a given frequency and then detecting the amount of power that exists in that filter over time. Okay, so it's kind of a time domain view of uh, you know, the amplitude variations of a given signal in that filter. So, uh, so let's go take a look at what that looks like and how we set it up. So I've got a signal coming out of the signal generator here at uh, 15 megahertz carrier frequency. It's being amplitude modulated with a 2 kilohertz sine wave. Okay. So if I take that signal and I bring it into the oscilloscope here, okay. so what I'm looking at is the amplitude variation. You can kind of see the envelope of that signal kind of going up and down sinusoidally. Okay. And the fuzz in there, if you will, is the 15 megahertz carrier. So that's what it looks like in the, in the, uh, on a scope. So I can actually see you know, the, uh, the modulated signal there. And if we look carefully, it's, it's about a 500 microsecond period. So that tells me that's that 2 kilohertz you know, modulating tone that I've got on here. Let's take that signal and bring it over to the spectrum analyzer. And let's play with zero span. So if we stick it in the spectrum analyzer, right now I'm looking at a span of 20 megahertz. Okay. So um, I'm just looking essentially at, you know, across here, centered at 15 megahertz, you know, plus or minus 10, just looking at that signal here over time. Okay, or excuse me, over frequency, amplitude versus frequency. Now if I just hit my span key and I change from 20 megahertz span down to zero span, okay, now I'm going to take that resolution bandwidth filter, which right now is set to 100 kilohertz wide, I'm going to just park that at the center frequency of 15 megahertz and there's my resulting display. I'll do a quick little uh, video trigger here so I can trigger on that signal and make it sit still. Okay, So now I can actually see the amplitude variation over time. The horizontal axis here is now instead of frequency is now time. Okay, and I've got a 5 millisecond uh, you know, total time here or 500 microseconds per division. Again you can kind of see the period of that signal is that 500 microseconds. They might look at this and say, well, that doesn't look sinusoidal. I know that the signal I'm modulating with here is a uh, 2 kilohertz uh, um, sine, sine wave. Why isn't that sinusoidal? You may remember that the resolution bandwidth uh, filter is followed up by a power detector, and we're measuring power logarithmically here. So I've got a log scale, so that sine wave is kind of getting logarithmically processed. So, but we can go in and change uh, my amplitude uh, scale to linear from log. And once I do that, now I'll see there's my amplitude variation versus time. So there's your AMD mod okay, of the signal. So um, that's really all zero span is. You can change the sweep speed, not nearly as much as you can say on an oscilloscope, but you can change the sweep speed to kind of look at the amplitude variations of a signal, whether it's an amplitude modulated signal, maybe it's a pulsed signal, whatever it might be. That's effectively what zero span is. The only thing you've got to be careful of is that the resolution bandwidth filter is set wide enough to completely encompass all of the modulation sidebands that you're going to have you know, on that signal. Now you can also play some tricks even with a frequency modulated signal by slope tuning or essentially offsetting center frequency from the carrier and letting the frequency deviation go you know, ride up and down the skirt of the filter and doing kind of an amplitude detect on that. It's not going to be perfectly linear, it's not going to be accurate, but at least you'll be able to see any variations that you have in terms of FMing on your signal as well. So it's just kind of a, a cheap and dirty way of, of using an ordinary zero span to look at frequency modulation as opposed to kind of how it's conventionally used for looking at amplitude modulation. So that's kind of the quick basics of what uh, zero span is on a spectrum analyzer. And any questions, I'd be happy to, to hear them. Thanks again.